doing? How you doing, sir? I remember you from the yard sale, the community yard sale? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bought the VHS tapes. Yes. We got some more. Looking for more. We just put a lid on it. Oh, it's just been a lot of, as you can see behind me, a lot of empty tables. All right, so I picked up this uh, Hank Williams Jr. animated um, figure here, and he doesn't work with batteries, and he also doesn't come with the power cord, so... All right, fellow resellers, I just dropped my son off at the bus stop. It is time to head to the flea market and let's see what we can find. Stay tuned. Everybody loves the flea market. How much for the DVD VCR combos? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen each? Yeah. Do they work? They work, yeah. Okay. You have the remotes for them by any chance? No. Uh, Fifteen each? Okay. Give me a change. How much for the Under Armour shoes? Five dollars? Do you know if this is complete? Okay, let's see. Alright. How much do you want for it? Five dollars? Yeah, sure it's worth it after we do it. Alright. Put that together. Yeah, I'll do five bucks on it. Oh, that guy shortchanged me. I forgot there's a guy over there that just shortchanged me a dollar. Yeah, right. right. no, Can you do nine bucks? Yeah, I do nine bucks. <laughs> okay. I feel like I took advantage of it. <laughs> no, it's all yeah, good. Yeah. Hopefully it's not missing anything. It looks like uh, the tripod looks like it goes together. It actually is, felt like it was trying to go back together by itself. Gotcha. So. Alright, thank you. Let me move my let me move my wagon over. He's asking twenty on that one. The wallets go for I didn't realize how much money they go for in the stores. Can you do 15 on it? Maybe we can see what else I can buy and bundle some stuff together. What's going on with this chain? Is this like bundled up or clotted? I don't know why it looks like that. It's weird. See what I mean? It's almost like it's tangled or something. Let me see if I can untangle it. 15 lets you play with it. All right, let's do 15, 15 bucks. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else? Here, what what else we got here? Uh, the knives are in here. You know, are these different knives uh, than the ones from last week? I don't know if they were all out or not. I don't may, remember may this one. Do 15 on any knife. 
you can have for three thousand dollars. My daughter says, I'll give you three thousand dollars if you put it all in a dumpster. <laughs> Seriously. She says, I'll give you three thousand dollars because I don't want to deal with this shit when you're dead. But you gotta have people watching. All right, what's the best you can do on these three right here? Again, 15 I think is fair on each one. So four, I'll take five bucks off, but that, but so 40 bucks. Right 40 bucks for the three? Yeah. Okay. So 40 in the wall would be 55. Okay. How much for the beer sign? 20. How much? 20. 20? Yeah. Does it work? Yeah. Oh, okay. Make sure you check that cord over here. Can you do 15? It's got a little bit of damage on the corner. Can you do 15 bucks? Does that work? You got change for a 20? Yeah. Thank you. All right, time to head to the next section of the flea market. Gonna make this quick. Uh, what condition is the clock in? What condition is the snap on a clock in? Does it work? I'm not sure. I, I saw the cheap. Oh, you're a sign man. Turn it over. You just take that out. And you, I'm pretty sure you get that at Home Depot or, or Lowe's. They got it. You take that out, and you know, if it don't work. I, I looked it up online when it's, I seen them go for 100. You know? Yeah. Well, I think this whole piece right here has got to be replaced, and the hands are rusty. It's a little scratched up. How much yeah. are you thinking on this one by itself? Uh, Not as interested in the Coors Light I'll one. I'll get to you cheap, you know, get every, all three pieces. Well, what's cheap? All three, 50. All three. 5 I Like I said, I'm not as interested in that one. All right. That one's missing a piece. Right. I'll give you 10 on just the snap on one. I get a little bit more than that. Okay, I think I'll have to pass. Yeah. I, I, it's I, just, it's a little do, beat up. I do, I do 30 on it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> it's a little beat up. That's a hundred dollar um, piece there, man. Yeah. Snap on. Good working condition you know, and got, the hands know, are good. All you need, if it don't work, you just get this piece here, right? You can buy that, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it, that don't cost that much. And then you get that, man, you got an over a hundred dollar piece. That's why not? I, I mean, just that piece right there. Yeah, the, the, the clockwork. Yeah, yeah that's, that's I, think I'll, I think I'll pass on it, but All how right. much for the uh, Hank Williams over there? Ten bucks. It's yours. Ten bucks? Ten bucks. That's a steal. Ten bucks. Can't get no cheaper than that. I Whoa. Uh, There's a B came right out of there. Bucks. Battery compartment's good. It doesn't come with the power cable? I don't know nothing about it. Ten bucks. Hey, make sure that battery compartment's good. It's got batteries in it, but it's not corroded. Yeah, I'll do ten on it. It'd be, it'd be a less, less thing I have to take home. That's why I look at it. <laughs> so, um, uh, okay, there's ten. All right, buddy, thanks. Appreciate you. No problem.
Yeah, I just put batteries in this um, guy right here, and he doesn't work with batteries, and he also doesn't come with the power cord, so this was a really bad buy. But I'm crossed. There it is. A lot of empty tables today. It's almost time to get out of here. How much for the gumball machine? Does it have the key? No, it does not. Probably as it sits, ten bucks. Huh? As it sits, ten dollars. As it sits, fifteen. How's that with the bag? Fifteen with the bag. <laughs> Hey, bags are All right, now they are. It's hard to come by plastic bags nowadays. All right. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Fifteen okay. bucks with the bag. How much for the tuner? For the for the tuner? How how much? How much for the tuner right here? That one? Yeah, this one right here. Twenty dollars. Does it work? Yes. Okay, I'll do twenty on it. Alright. It's not missing the power cord or anything. You said it works, right? Yeah, yeah, it works. Ten dollars. Uh, right. Thank you. Oh. Wagons getting full. What's that? I said you're gonna get some real bass out of that. Yeah, somebody will. Thank you. How much are you asking on the boots? Uh, one forty. Hundred and forty. Hundred forty. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I paid two one fifty for. I got another pair. It's a little steep for me. I appreciate it anyways. Notice that my wagon gets more and more squeaky the more weight that's in it. So, I don't know. I did forget the WD-40, the wheels, but... <laughs> Can you do 35 bucks on it? I'm really stuck at 40. I mean, 40 really bucks? Stuck, yeah, because I'm coming down and you really, it's hard to find them, man. Those are like $25 a piece just the guys. All right. Nice I'll do 40 on it. Just make sure when you just hit, when you hold it, it, make sure you hold it. That's just what I had it. It was like, that was my bad boy, but I've had it a lot. Yeah. All right, well, I appreciate it. Do you know if you have the other guy? I looked at others. Just the two? Yeah. Okay. And it's time to get out of here. All right, just got back to the car again. I'm gonna blow right through this stuff, show you guys what I got real quick. All right, so I picked up this uh, Hank Williams Jr. animated um, figure. 
I think I paid like 15 bucks or 20 bucks for this. I don't even remember. But um, yeah, overall pretty nice condition. Doesn't come with the power cord, but the battery compartment was in pretty decent condition. So that was all right. I don't mind the wood back there. I'm got a little project I gotta do at the house. All right, I picked up this uh, Tonka van right here. The sliding door works. The back um, door opens just fine. It comes with two figures. One of the figure has a tear on his pants but overall though it's in pretty nice condition no damage to the windows or anything like that i paid uh 40 for this and i should be able to get about 80 to 90 bucks as it sits all right the gumball machine i picked up for 15 dollars, and it came with the plastic bag <laughs> which is kind of funny but um just as it sits um uh, without the key i think i can still get 40 bucks for it even with all the scratches and stuff, probably 40 bucks, no problem. So I'll still double my money on it and think it'll be a nice little sell. All right, the Miller Genuine Draft sign, I paid 15 bucks for it. It's a little pushed in right there, but I think I can fix that. But as long as that lights up just fine, I believe I can get, I don't know, maybe 75 bucks for it. Maybe, maybe 100 Maybe a hundred, depending on how well I can fix that up. We'll see. All right, and then I picked up these Under Armour shoes right here. I paid five dollars for these. I think I'm actually gonna keep these because I do like wearing black running shoes. All right, and then from that same guy, I bought the tent. I'm not even sure, honestly, how much this one even goes for. Maybe 40, 50 bucks. Paid five dollars for it. All right. I actually almost forgot. I actually think I put those three knives that I bought in the shoe kind of give it some protection and make sure no one could just walk by and just take them but um yeah i bought these three knives from the same guy that i bought those two franklin mint knives from last thursday one of them is brand new i don't remember that one's brand new and then this one right here still very nice condition and the same thing with this one very nice condition i paid forty dollars for all three all right, and also from that same gentleman, I also got the Harley Davidson wallet. Um, yeah, I think this was a pretty decent buy. I paid 15 bucks for it, and I should be able to get, imagine, at least $40, $50 for it. All right, and on this um, the quarter solid state, on this tuner right here, I think I think this right here is going to go for some pretty decent money. I paid 20 bucks for it, and I think even in untested or as is condition i think i get 100 bucks for it if it works just fine i think i can get 150 to 175 so i think even as it sits like even if it didn't work i think it'll still bring 50 60 dollars so i think that was definitely worth the purchase all right and the last two items which were the first two items that i bought were these dvd vcr combos this one is a slovena um this one's probably not going to go for as much especially the condition it is, but I still think I get 40 bucks for it. Paid $15 each. Um, should get at least 40 for that one. This one is a little scratched up, but I think once I clean this one up, I think this one's gonna go for even more money. I would say 70 to 80 bucks, even as it sits. All right, and the last thing is I got Independence Day on VHS. It is sealed and I paid a dollar for it, but this was a personal buy to add to my VHS tape collection, which is like one of two things i do collect is vhs tapes so um with that being said that was all i got today and i hope you guys enjoyed if you enjoyed today's content please consider smashing the like button please consider subscribing and if you haven't seen my rare um beer signs that i found in the basement video i thought it was super cool i think you should go check that out i'll link that right here peace all right, just got this chair set up. Let's see how it holds up. That's actually not bad at all. That's actually really cozy. <laughs> I actually almost want to keep this. All right, so apparently this is a collaboration with Burton and Big Agnes. And apparently this chair is like $200 and it is very comfortable.